we're going to talk about another pair of pants. Welcome to season nine of Life in My Shoes reviews and such. <clears throat> in this episode, as the title of the video indicated, I'm going to be reviewing some Lululemon's ABC pants. <clears throat> so, per the new norm, let me give you kind of a breakdown, what I will call the facts, before I jump in, into opinions about the pants. <clears throat> So, as I mentioned, these are ABC pants. Now, beyond that, I'm not very specific of the details. Um, I purchased these off of eBay. Uh, I purchased them for right around 50 bucks. Um, so, that was a reasonable price. <coughs> um, the color is black, as you can see. Hopefully the video is, is indicating that very well. Um, the label size reads 36. They were advertised as 36, 34. Um, they do appear to be 34 in length. Um, the auction did not clarify whether these were a slim fit, but I would say they are a slimmer fit in comparison to the public rec AD ED pant, the all day everyday pant, which I will be comparing to these. Although I will say that's probably an unfair comparison. Uh, these are probably more closely related to public rec's workday pant. So somewhat of an unfair assessment, but I will be talking about the deltas between the two brands. Um, the materials are 100% uh, polyester. <laughs> I think the pocket has uh, maybe some different materials, and um, you could read the labels about that. I think it is some amount less than 100% polyester. Um, they retail for $128, so at the used price of 50 bucks that I got these for, um, less than half price and a great entry into the brand. So even as a used product, that's a good entry price into the brand. Um, so uh, some of the things that are noteworthy is there is a seam on like the back of the knee, which is a real unusual thing for the pant. Um, but also that's where the logo is. I don't know if you can see that very well. The logo is on the left seam behind the left knee. Um, some other features to kind of call out. Um, first off, uh, it is a double button. So you have two buttons uh, at the fly. Um, it has a zippered fly. And again, I'm only calling these out because these are deltas between the AD, uh, AD, ED pant. Uh, it also has belt loops, so it is uh, belt ready. Uh, it does have a hidden zipper in the back pocket. So the back pockets are uh, normal size, but there is a hidden zipper for um, for added safety. Uh, and you do have kind of multiple pockets here uh, on the left pocket. Um, you have the regular full pocket and then you've got this almost little tiny pocket here, uh, which is similar to a dress pant. Some of my dress pants have a little pocket right up at the top towards the seam. Some of my jeans have that little pocket inside the right pocket. Um, this is very similar on this. It's got that, although this is a lot looser of a pocket than what would be on my blue jeans. Um, the cuff. If you were to roll these up, there is a reflective material on the inside of the cuff. Um, and that's something that they kind of advertise with the pant. Um, so there you go. That is kind of the 50 foot view of the product itself. Um, now let me give you some thoughts and opinions about this product. So as I mentioned, I did purchase these used for 50-ish dollars with the retail price being 128. My opinion is that is a great entry purchase. $128, $100 like the ADED, which I think are like 98-ish. A um, lot of the pants in comparison, the Roan, the Western Rise, a lot of those are in the $100 range. So if you can find them used, at 50% or less than 50% of retail price, I think that's a good entry to see if it's a product that you are willing to spend that full dollar amount on. Uh, of course, if you ordered any of these and they have a return policy, you could try them that way, but it's still a lot to come out of pocket um, and to wait for a refund process. I'd rather pay 
50% out of pocket, try them, and if I don't like them, I will resale them um, versus paying 100 plus out of pocket and then having to go through the hassle of returning them and then waiting for the refund to be issued. That's just a personal preference. Um, <laughs> so what I will say from a fit perspective, again, I order, these are advertised as 36, 34. The label does say 36, which it represents the waist. Um, the waist is snug. So this is a snug 36. I'm used to in the jeans that I wear, 36 are loose. And I can almost, I do have a pair of 34s in my brand of jean that really are about the same as this. Now, what I will say is the jeans I wear are probably large. Um, 36 is probably bigger than a 36 um, and 34 is probably closer to a 36. So it probably is a true 36. It just feels more snug because I'm used to a looser uh, fit around the waist. Um, what I will say from a look perspective, again, if you look at these and if you see me wearing these, these are very business appropriate. Um, so I could tuck a shirt into this, I could wear a sweater with it, uh, et cetera. I could dress it up with a, a casual dress pant. I could wear a little bit of a nicer shoe with it, or excuse me, with a casual dress shoe. Um, I could wear a nicer dress shoe with it. I could wear some of my um, nicer ankle boots. Uh, it will dress up without a problem. Whereas um, the ADED was more of a, um, would be more of a stretch. I could get away with it, but again, I think these are not even a challenge. I could easily wear these uh, into the workplace. Uh, as I also mentioned, uh, these are probably more closely related to Public Rec's uh, Workday Pant, which I don't have a pair of those yet. So some of these comparisons are a little unfair because I don't think it's necessarily apples to apples. Um, they are two different styles of athleisure pants, um, but I think they're kind of fitting different um, different needs. The ADED pant uh, is fine to wear uh, for a lot of functions, super stretchy, um, but are a slight struggle in the workplace, whereas these I think are um, more business appropriate and just have more of a standard pant look and feel. What I would say is the auction on eBay did not specify whether these were slim or not. In fact, it didn't even advertise what model they are. Uh, the ABC has a variety. There's like a Utilitech, a Warpstream. I'm gonna guess these are Warpstream, probably um, Warpstream 34. I think they sell them by inseam. I'm gonna assume they're Warpstream 34 because a lot of the features seem to align to that. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know a ton about it beyond that. It also did not specify whether these were slim. Now, in looking at the images of the slim online, I would say these are probably not slim, but what I will say is they are a lot slimmer than the ADED pant by Public Rec. Again, I think our comparison is probably more closely aligning to the Workday Pant, maybe the straight version they have of the Workday Pant. Um, but I would say these are definitely a slimmer standard fit, um, and I would guess the slim are much slimmer than these. So I don't think these are a slim. I think I probably would be a push wearing the slims, whereas these have a, um, a nice slimmer silhouette, um, not quite straight, a little slimmer, a little tapered down to the ankle, and a, a nice fit. So I would say probably the standard are pretty good. Um, they are uh, stretchy. Um, I'll just show some of that because um, it's polyester. So it's stretchy, um, <coughs> but it's not as stretchy as the ADED. Again, perhaps an unfair comparison. The ADED were, are super stretchy. Um, uh, these are more of a restrained stretch. So you could wear these and feel like you can have the good mobility, but just where I think I described the ADED as you feel like you're almost not wearing pants. Um, they are that stretchy and like even my foot would get hang up, hung up in the pant. Um, these are a lot more restrained. So you have stretch, but it's stretch with limits, whereas the ADED feels like it would you know, stretch out of the world. Um, so it, I, I call it a more of a restrained or a contained stretch. <coughs> um, these are advertised as breathable. Again, it is, uh, 
uh, January, so I can't really talk to that. Um, I haven't worn them a ton to be able to tell. Plus, our weather has been pretty warm, um, so I haven't. I, I just haven't tested them out enough to say whether they're breathable. Um, they also say they're wrinkle resistant, um, which I'd say they do a decent job of that. This is. Um, out of the dryer and thrown in a clothes basket um, and then hung up uh, just um, after probably multiple hours sitting in a clothes basket. So they're doable. Um, I wouldn't say they are uh, gonna look fresh pressed, uh, but they definitely are, um, don't look like they've been crumpled up in a clothes basket. So all in all, my thoughts about these pants, um, I like the, um, the business appropriateness. So I like the things that make them look like a standard pant. Um, and again, this is why I really need to try the, eight, um, the Public Rex Workday pant because I think that's more comparable to, to this. Um, and I know Western Rise and I think the Roan has um, a pair as well. I think they're more in line with this versus the ADED is kind of its own creature. It's an unfair comparison. Um, but I like the business appropriateness. Um, I like that these are something that I really could wear every day. Um, would I have bought the black? Um, probably wouldn't have gotten black. I probably would have gone with um, maybe a navy or a dark gray if they had it. Um, I probably wouldn't have gone with the black, but now that I have the black, black will go with anything. So I'm really not worried about that. Um, again, I think these are good from a business appropriate wear, which I don't have to wear these days because I'm at home. But these are a kind of pant that I could see myself wearing with great frequency multiple days throughout the week. Um, my hope is that they breathe better than a pair of jeans. So as the weather starts to warm up, but it is not full shorts weather, that these are something that I could be wearing in that phase. So all in all, I'm a big fan. Um, <coughs> I mentioned in my previous review of the public correct ADED pant that my goal is throughout um, um, throughout the year at that time I was saying throughout that year but that was towards the end of last year um, but throughout this year that I will continue to watch for some of the other brands again the Roan and the Western Rise I'm watching those um, on eBay for used opportunities where I can also get a good deal 50% or less um, to try out some of the pants that they have um, but I would recommend these um, would I recommend them for $128 I'm not sure about that um, that would have to be a decision you'd have to make um, I personally would not pay $128 for them, um, but uh, I was happy paying $50 for them. So all in all, I'm happy. There you go. There's the review of the ABC, I think Warp Stream uh, pant by Lululemon. Um, if you have any questions, comments, let, let me know. Uh, put a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. If you're curious what ABC stands for, uh, you could leave a comment below or you could Google it and it will tell you what ABC stands for. Uh, until my next review video, have a good time.